Okay, I wanted to show you something, uh, something uh, pretty funny here. So, so that we did the the Wokes and Races video it was like a big video, obviously. Yesterday was the one year anniversary of it, actually. Was it? I got the the Facebook. Maybe maybe we so, should repost it. Uh, yeah, maybe I should repost yeah, yeah, yeah. it because I got the fa- you know the Facebook one year ago today deal. So there was this there's this dude on TikTok that makes like fucking oh yeah. <laughs> did you see this? So by the way, I just want to say about yeah. TikTok because like I use TikTok, I like TikTok. There is no source of more cringy content so in the cringe. world than TikTok with I all know. the girls just doing like the voiceover stuff and like these just like dances and like I I. Don't know where you can find more per capita cringy content. Yeah, it definitely makes you than feel TikTok. weird. TikTok, yeah. And this and the political stuff. And this guy, so this guy, a year old video, I guess, and he 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 goes, um, actually, and it's like you go when you see people on the internet, you go, this is this is who's uh, fucking making funny. And you're, first of all, you go one video. I was I'm making a video a week for the last year and a half. Or, or three videos a week in some mm-hmm. cases, and I got to defend every point. You know, this one also it's like, it's like one to pick it apart, one like point. Report. But it's one point. But like you, this is when this guy, this is who's making funny of you, and you look at it, you go, oh my god, look at this friggin' nerd. Have you seen that video? Wokes and racists actually agree on everything. It's amazing. I saw it. Well, I didn't really think He's talking to himself. Much sense. What? How so? Wokes like. Who is that? I thought woke was an adjective, not a noun with a plural case. Um, um well, first of all, I just want to say uh, that woke is an adjective. <laughs> it's like literally, wow. so wait, you're just hearing the term woke right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This like is in the year 2020, you. the year of our Lord, you're just hearing <laughs> yeah, yeah, the term one. woke for the first time? That's mm. that's it? That's mm. where you go, huh, oh, I've never heard that oh. term. What is that? That doesn't, that doesn't mm. quite uh First of all, make there's sense the grammatical. <laughs> This guy, and he's holding a drink, he's talking to himself. He makes all these videos talking to himself. They just mean like anti-racist, intersectional feminists, you know, annoying weirdos. Oh, okay. Anything else? Yeah, the part about how woke- Anything else? Uh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so I don't think anything else. Mm, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, this guy fucking- Folks and racists <laughs> believe the same thing about <laughs> interracial dating. Could you walk me through that? Oh, sure. Basically, wokes are against interracial dating and so are racists. Is that true? I mean, I've seen at least three tweets against interracial dating from woke oh, accounts on Twitter. Bone. Is that a statistically valid sample? <laughs> what is that like? Um, um, is, that, um, <laughs> is that a statistically valid sample? Just because yeah, yeah, yeah. that seems like maybe it's not a statistically... <laughs> um, They're like, oh, just Mel- <laughs> what is it? Melvin from fucking Office Space? Um, is that... <laughs> Was it Melvin? What no, was it I, I can't remember because you just Melvin my fucking brain. The, sta- the no, who was it? Um, the stapler guy. Norman Newman. Uh, yeah, the stapler. Uh, my stapler. Um, you took my stapler. Yeah. Um. I, I had a statistically valid sample. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> fucking. Mm. Holy shit. Milton. If I search Twitter for all of the tweets that are anti-interracial dating, would they be half and half from woke and racist accounts? Forty, sixty, eighty, twenty. Whatever. The point is, there are woke people who are... Okay, first off, I guess you haven't been on Nation of Islam Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> For, but, like, okay, aside from this, the fact that this guy's like... Remember that year-old uh, video? Uh, this one point isn't... Um, uh, um, uh, mm, 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 uh, <laughs> it's such a fucking... Hey, well, I searched Twitter. Dorky-ass <laughs> fucking loser, dude. But you go... Okay, let's... First of all, again... You take a video with 25 points and try to pick the worst one. I'm fine with that. You know, yeah. whatever. But let's... I go, what world are you living in where Twitter has more people posting white and black people shouldn't be together? Literally, you can see this stuff that... Like, the, the articles that are uh, interracial dating, they were in, like, the slate. Huffington Post. If you want to hear a white guy that's like white and black people shouldn't be married, you need to go to a community center in the middle of the woods. Yeah. You need a leaflet. Like this. So you go, Wit has more tweets, like the interracial I mean, dating. literally go to like spots in Harlem. But, but my, yeah. <laughs> like it's going to be. Literally like, you know. black Twitter was all saying that stuff, which would yeah. be considered woke. So you're saying the his argument is that there's probably three tweets about this, like from woke people. And there's probably a million tweets about it from racists. How many how many tweets have you seen in your life that from a white person saying white and black people shouldn't get married? If I exclude the ones that I posted myself, yeah, uh, none. That's it's pretty much just me. His whole argument is that like, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. His whole argument is it's like uh, in terms of like racist people and woke people. This is the whole thing. You go, 
like in his mind, he's like fucking conservatives are like what interracial dating's bad, I guess. Yeah. It's like what world is this guy living in? Oh yeah. I mean, he's not. He's not. He's living in fucking fantasy. Because he's like, oh, that's the extremists. Like, so there's a few like extremists being like interracial dating's bad because of you're fetishizing or whatever, and you go. Yeah, and those extremists are in like media positions and like you would agree with them. No one that is normal, someone, white guys coming out and going, white people and black people shouldn't get married. And you go, ah, oh, I see his point. But yeah. when someone goes, white people might be fetishizing, people like this are like, okay, they sympathize. Yeah, they say, well, it's like it's coming from their side. So like they're not going to be like challenging it. If this, if, if this guy saw a black guy come and say, I don't think that fucking our black queen should be with white men, would he be like, actually, no. Would he go, mm, actually? Yeah. No, like, he'd go, let me hear you out, brother. Yeah, exactly. Come on, brother. Rat for me, brother. <laughs> Come he'd on, be like, what you got to say? Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. He would go, he would listen to him. He would hear him out. Mm -hmm. um, when you say that, that would be statistically most <laughs> of the tweets. And you go, no, you stupid idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah, that was, yeah. This guy's I, I, all I, I that. Was that. He, he just like, he, he kind of reacts to videos and all of them is like, he puts a video the on the back and, goes, and forth him talking. Um, <laughs> um, excuse me. <laughs> Ding. This guy must be fucking super fun at parties. <laughs> Ding. He goes, uh, I was just looking at your Goya beans and <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you heard. Um, yeah, that the CEO of Goya like Trump. So, dude, it's like get a, human... a different bean. <laughs> it's like basically a human tweet. Yeah, it's kind of what that guy is. <laughs> human tweet. Do you know what I mean? Like that's how people tweet. Every time that guy makes a video, there's like twenty new conservatives. <laughs> like twenty conserv <laughs> people on on TikTok become conservatives. They see that video and go. All right, well, fuck this guy. <laughs> there was another thing that was fucking making me laugh too. Like this viral tweet where I'm just like, I was looking at Twitter, getting all fired up again. I go, I go, it goes. When you only listen to this Adam Adam Grant, it's like on the face. It goes. When you only listen to the smartest person in the room, you miss out on discovering what the rest of the room is smart about. Everyone knows you meet everyone. Everyone you know knows something you don't and has wisdom and experiences you have lived. Every conversation is a chance to learn something new. And I have heard this a lot, right? Uh -huh. You've how many times have you heard this kind of argument? Yeah, I mean, right? Yeah, of course. And and my opinion, no, they don't. I like, mean, if you go to a room and it's like, oh, everyone has something to say. How many people have you talked to where you go, oh, especially right now, you go. Oh, I know every single thing you think before you say it. Oh, you just need to hear one opinion. There are so many people where I go, I know everything I know. you think. Yeah, just give when me one opinion. When I go on the opinion. street, that's why I'm able to like mess with people so much because I can hear them talk for a second. Like this guy, I I could if I met him on the street, I could have his brain wrapped up in a tizzy so quickly because I know everything you think. And the worst part is they think they know everything you think and they have no fucking for clue. Sure. I know what you think and why you I mean, think they're, it. They're NPCs essentially. Well, the, okay. The so, term. so if we agree there's NPCs, we can't also agree that you can learn something from everyone in the room, brother. No. <laughs> I mean... I can't learn anything from I mean, people. you could learn something about... You like, could laugh at them. You could say that's funny. So many people have fear. You know, there's an old um, Peter Thiel thing in it. He says failure is over overrated because... It helps. It makes you have too much fear. Uh -huh. And I've always said he's right, but depending on what you want to do. Because in some things, I think, for example, comedy. I think in people being better at people, like that. The quote from him is coming from guys that, like, I bet you people don't like him that much. I bet you know. Yeah. I think failure makes you more personable, and it makes you uh, understand people better. I think. Yeah, for sure. So it depends on what you do. That quote is not objectively better, but if your goal is to like run a tech company. Maybe. Yeah. Have, um, code some thing. Yeah, to, to, you know, make some company into a $5 billion company. So yeah, it maybe, depends on... Maybe you don't want to be just failing nonstop. It's so, exactly, right. So it depends on what you want to do. Yeah. But when you see that guy, and it's like, uh, that idea that everyone, you could learn something from everyone, I don't think it's true. I think there's a lot of interesting people. Like, I think that you go talk to, like, odd bodega guy, and you go, I oh, has an interesting yeah. perspective. You can talk... I think there's lots of interesting people, but it ain't everyone no i mean i feel like i could learn something if i went to a party in like like a, from something from everyone if i went to a party in say you know alabama where yeah, it's like might, outside of outside of the same bubble reason right if you go to, but if i just go to like some fucking like house party in bushwick or something I'm like i'm not but then again though if you go to that party in alabama talk to one guy talk to two yeah guys, exactly it'll by be the third guy you'll be like i got it yeah i got it <laughs>
Oh yeah, I just I just learned that from yeah, fucking yeah, that yeah, guy yeah. over there. Yeah, yeah. And so many people have like fear baked into their experiences. So many people have indoctrination baked into their experiences. I mean, so mm, many so many people giant. literally just get their like their opinions are like just you know they get them from fucking one side of the media or the other and they're pretty like homogenous they're not yeah it's not because a lot of people they're not like oh i watch everything and i kind of like pick and choose like they're just like yeah i i watch cnn and yeah. those are my opinions 